I keep getting hella distracted by Critical Role, um, Twitter, Instagram, etc. But Mefred and Reddit. What you got? Homeward Bound. Let me. Oh, my fucking. Chicago was long gone. Okay. Well, crowd is alive, and the tributum's been paid. That's all that matters for now. I, for one, would rather not wait around to see if the skulls decide to return. We'd best get back to Alagana and tell R Roggenfried his man got the job done. I don't mind continuing to voice you as this kind of rugged, deeper-voiced individual. You're doing, doing good work. Just because you're young, don't mean you, don't mean you deserve to be young-voiced. Whatever. I chimed in with the haven't you people ever heard of Closing your goddamn doors, no Roggenfried, the older gentleman that kind of runs this shanty town, outpost, whatever. We owe you a debt of gratitude for what you did. Where Krada told me everything. How you fought with the Kirkrin and saved his life. For all the good it did. We saw what happened when he met with the Skulls. How they beat him half to death. We could have stopped them. Aye, I reckon you could. Mefred's a warrior, as is your comrade. And you're strong, like your father. That much is plain. But I thank Ralgar you did not, because it would not have ended with them. Where Krada and his sister have would have been branded insurgents, if not the whole lot of us. Bones heal, scars fade, but the dead remain dead. We're alive, and that's more than can be said for only the gods know how many others. That's not enough for you, or that's enough for you, is it? To put up with whatever they do to you, so long as you get to see another day? That's right. You're, you grit your teeth, you learn to live with the pain. I'll admit I was quick to judge you, Lise, and for that I apologize. I know you and yours mean well, I do, but I'm telling you, gods in the heavens as my witness, that we've got nothing left to give. We can't help you. She bows her head low, looking at the ground. I understand. Thank you for your honesty. She walks off. She may say it, uh, but she doesn't mean it. Nor would I expect her to. Her father was stubborn as an ox, too. If she's set on walking the same path, I but pray she won't follow it on the same to the same end. Right, we'll talk to Mefred here. Yeah. Well, she took it better than, better than I anticipated, which isn't saying much, I suppose. We should go and see if she's all right. There's a red circle to go and see if she's alright, so let's see what the heck that means, yo. I mean, even if it's a red circle, it still could just mean we have to find her. It doesn't mean there's a fight that's about to happen, but find out. She's outside the town a little bit, the whatever, outpost. Sorry about running off like that. Alamegans terrorizing their own? I just can't accept it, you know? No matter what he thinks, they shouldn't have to put up with it day after day after day. I'm not completely naive, you know? I didn't expect them to storm a castrum with their pickaxes and shovels, or whatever it was. But nor did I expect Werkrata to just lie there in the dirt while they kicked him. I can't claim to know their plan, or pain. I barely remember this place, or even my father's face. But I remember Ida's. I remember how scared she was when we ran, and that look in her eyes when she talked about home. <sighs> her home, but not mine, is it? There you are, Lise. I've been looking all over for you. All over for you, says the cynical youth. Well, you found me. Got something else to say? Aye, that I do. I, um... 
I said some things to you before that I shouldn't have. It wasn't my place to do so, and I'm sorry. All that rubbish I spouted about how I love my village, but when one of ours was in need, I was cowering here with all the others. I didn't even think to go after Warkrata, but you did. It made me feel like, like the bloody hypocrite I am. If I truly cared for my people, I'd fight for them. So I will, if you'll have me. You're asking me to join the resistance? When you put it like that, I, uh, I suppose I am. But not just me. There are others I know who've been thinking about it for a while now. There's not many of us, and we're not hardened warriors like you, Lot, but... If your heart bleeds for Alamigo, then that's good enough for me. You and yours are more than welcome at Ralgar's Reach, says Mefred. Lee's kind of gets pumped for a second. You nod and smile. The youth. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. I'll go and speak with the others and send word when we're ready. And jogs off. Still think this isn't your home? She shakes her head no. N no, I, I was just thinking out loud. And with that, my friends, our mission is concluded. Let us return to the Reach. The fucking Red Mage gears. Well, honestly, it's caster. It's like... I was going to say intelligence. I don't know if that's the stat here. I think it's intelligence, right? Is that how the... In yeah, intelligence for most arcane casters, so like Black Mage, Summoner, um, Red Mage... So this hat would work for any of those casters. It's just like, this is a top hat. Like, why do they gotta make all these arcane intelligence-based damage dealers fucking ridiculous looking so, so, so routinely? I mean, some might like the whole pointy black mage hat kind of get up, but red mage doesn't fit. Red Mage also, also does not fit the top hat at all. Somebody in my... Oh, you can read it. Whoops, my bad. Um, somebody just got... Somebody just unlocked Reaper. And I haven't yet. So I know nothing really about it. But my Rogadin... I, be, I think either my Rogadin or my Lalafell. They're both male. One of them will be Reaper. I can't remember which one I had plans for there. Because Reaper would put fit pretty well with all the whole black mage motif that my Lalafell has, but it also fit pretty well with like a big buff scary scythe wielding, yeah first of all, allow me to commend you both in a job well done, says Mefred though nothing went according to plan we nevertheless managed to attract some new recruits, and it was your passion and conviction that moved them to join thank you, no thank you for giving me an opportunity to find out what our people have been through these past 20 years, it's been Humbling. And troubling, too. I'd heard about the skulls, but that was the first time I'd seen them in the flesh. I know you say they're the same as any other Imperial soldiers, and maybe that's how I'll have to think of them myself if our paths ever cross in the, in the battlefield, but... When, not if, the day will come, Lise. You can't afford to hesitate when it does. Young, old, conscript, conscript citizen, Garlean, Alamegan, none of that matters. They've all got their reasons. But they're no better than yours, especially when they're bearing down on you, blade in hand. Saying that, I don't want to kill them any more than you do. If I could convince them to lay down their arms, I would. Sadly, I've never been much of a talker myself. But who knows? Maybe you could be one, Lise. Your father certainly was. Right then, I'd best begin preparing for those these new recruits. Mercy, Lise, it's been a pleasure. 
Homeward Bound is complete. Got White Mage or Red Mage weaponry. Okay. 255, White Mage, Red Mage, or Tenacity plus 6. More of those gems. Okay. So 255, Red Mage. Nope. White Mage. Nope. Tenacity it freaking is. Heck yeah, buddy. I gotta skip through this shit. Are you done it? Tenacity. I will gladly buff my tank. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, end of video. See you next time.